everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to complete this 1960s bombshell inspired look. It features a red lip and a softly cut crease and it's super easy to duplicate on yourself. And I'm calling this look the Joan. So if you can guess what show inspired my look, please leave your comments below. I would love to see what you guessed. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video by hitting the thumbs up. Thank you guys so much and please stay tuned. My first step in this look is to define my brows and I'm using the wax end of the brow stylus pencil to help tame my brows. This will give me a better idea of where exactly I needed to fill them in at. Now with the other end of the pencil and light strokes I begin filling in any visible sparse areas. This pencil also features a brush that will help blend in the pencil with your natural hairs creating a natural look. I'm now applying an eyelid primer and this step will help your shadows to not only appear more vibrant but if you have oily lids like I do then your shadows will definitely not crease. Now for one of my favorite steps, perfecting my skin. And to do this, I'm applying L'Oreal's Visible Lift Blur Foundation, which is going to help blur out my uneven skin texture and tone right before your eyes. I'm using a synthetic brush to help blend this bad boy in. I'm now going to brighten my under eye circles with L'Oreal's Visible Lift Blur Concealer. I'm first applying it with a concealer brush, creating an upside down triangle. Then I'll blend it out to perfection with the Beauty Blender. With L'Oreal's Silka Seam Liner in the shade Highlighter, I'm going to highlight my inner corners and my lower lash line. This step is going to help my eyes appear brighter and more awake. For this eye look, I'm going to use L'Oreal's Color Reach Dual Effects Quad in Absolute Taupe. The first shade I'll use is this brownish taupe color and with light pressure, I'm going to blend it in and slightly over my crease. It helps to do little circles to help blend and apply. Now with the pencil brush, grab the darkest color and with a tapping motion, pack that color onto the outer corners of your eyes from the end of your crease to both the top and lower lash lines. I'm still in need of this brush so clean off any excess product and begin to gently blend the shadow further into your crease keeping most of the color on the outer corners. To brighten my eyes even more, I'm taking the lightest color and applying it to my inner corners and slightly blending it up into my crease, avoiding the lid. You also want to take this onto your lower lash line. What's a 1960 bombshell look without a wing liner? So to get this look, I'm using L'Oreal's Infallible Lacquer Liner in Black is Black. I like to start out in the center because I feel like it determines how thick my line will be. My goal is to round out my eyes so the center should be the highest point. Once I'm satisfied, I'll begin to define my inner corner which should be the thinnest point. Once my lash line is lined, I'll then focus on the wing, drawing a line up as if I was extending my lower lash line, then I'll bring it in to meet my liner. To finish off this eye look, I'm going to apply two coats of L'Oreal's Voluminous Butterfly Mascara to both top and bottom lashes.
The next step in this look is to warm up my skin using True Match Blush in Soft Sun and a blush brush. I'm just applying this to the apples of my cheek and then blending upward towards the hairline. For the final steps of this look, I'm going to line and fill in my lips with the red lip liner. This is going to help my red lipstick last throughout the night. With Color Reach Extraordinaire Lipstick in Ruby Opera, this look is complete. There are very few words that can describe this product. It's smooth, highly pigmented, and just plain amazing. Be sure to check out the L'Oreal Paris Makeup Genius app so you can virtually try on this look until the end of August. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know if you can guess what show inspired my look, The Joan. Don't forget to like and share this video and definitely be sure to check out Destination Beauty and hit subscribe. Till next time, bye!